Cyclone State is coming off a weekend split with Colorado College. They are now tied for first in the NCHC alongside the University of North Dakota before they head up to Duluth this weekend. Welcome to the St. Cloud State Husky Hockey Weekend Preview. I'm your host, Taylor Budge. Joined alongside me is Mick Hatton from the St. Cloud Times. Mick, not the weekend that the Huskies were looking for on home ice, but how do they bounce back from a loss like this? And it all starts kind of with the senior class, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, those guys, uh, when they've gone on the road and, and, and fared really well this season, uh, those guys have kind of led the way. Joey Bennick has been very good on the road. Callie Kosla, their last series uh, at Denver, uh, had a tremendous series, had five goals at that weekend. Uh, uh, David Morley, uh, Jimmy Murray. Jimmy Murray had a pretty good weekend this past weekend. Uh, and Ethan Prowl. Those seniors are, have kind of really led the way uh, to a, a real strong start on the road for the team this season. Uh, St. Cloud State has fared very well uh, coming off of a, a Saturday loss uh, in the two times that that's happened this season. Another team trying to find consistency this year, Minnesota Duluth. They had a kind of a slow start this year, but they've really picked it up in the last 10 games. Yeah, it's a very dangerous team. I mean, uh, Minnesota Duluth is a team that was picked uh, in the preseason poll to, to win this conference. Uh, they can match St. Cloud State's uh, depth, and so it, it's an intriguing series from that standpoint. Uh, Minnesota Duluth is a team that can get up and down the ice very well, so I mean, it could be a very fast skating up pace uh, kind of series. Uh, can Minnesota Duluth stay out of the penalty box? Uh, that's still a strength for St. Cloud State. Even though the power play was down a little bit over this past weekend, that's been a real strength for St. Cloud State. Is, uh, the way it's played on the power play. Now the Bulldogs were three and one against St. Cloud State last year, and their three leading scorers this year are all from their senior class. What impact are you expecting from them? And you also have to realize that it's a battle between the goalies this year as Casimir Cascasuo and Charlie Langren face off again. Right, you know, Casimir uh, had a tremendous uh, freshman season actually last season, and uh, he's at, like Charlie Lindgren has been even better this season. So that that's a very intriguing matchup. Uh, uh, he's a he's a tough goaltender, and, and he really kind of provided a lot of stability uh, for the Bulldogs last season and this season. So that that's an interesting uh, place to start with them. Uh, their top two scorers, uh, Cameron Nisi and and Farley, are, are a couple of guys that are, have been dangerous uh, throughout their careers. Uh, you know, they're really leading the way. If you're taking a look at their points, I mean, they're. they're there's quite a margin between uh, those two guys and kind of the rest of the crew, but uh, Andy Walensky is a very strong defenseman, so uh, they're a talented team. Let's see if St. Cloud can get back on their winning ways. Now, puck drop for both Friday and Saturday is set for 7.07 up in Duluth. Mick, thanks so much for coming in. Hey, thank you.